Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. It's me. I'm sorry to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Good morning. There's actually something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. So I'd like for all of us to meet in the command room tonight. I'll see you then. Looking forward to Here are my requests. Oh my, you've already fulfilled the requirements. Marvelous. You must know. Feel quite motivated. I will await a report of success. Come to think of it, by all means, you must know. means by all means of course by all means by all means by all means.
your We received a new mission. I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean Korumaru is going to fight with us? I honestly wasn't expecting this either, but the test results show it's quite possible. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. 
Kuro-chan, is this what you want? He says, I'm returning the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. And it's the perfect time, because it's summer break. Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. Uh, summer... wait, what'd you say? Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? We're going to be taking supplemental courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been to balance both school and our late night excursions. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. The chairman agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. You serious? First I've heard of it. Oh, um, sorry. I completely forgot to mention it. No way. Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Come on! I want to hear it. <laughs> it sucks. Don't you think? Uh, well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best. Today, we're gonna see some of the greatest matches the champs have ever... Hmm? And here we are with the first match of the qualifiers. In the red corner, we have Akihiko Sanada-kun from Gekko-kan High School. Me. 
This is footage from my first official match. My coach from back then recorded it for me. Ah, sorry, it looks like I put on the wrong video. Uh, let me switch it out. Hey, come on. It's not that interesting. But I guess this might be a good opportunity. Uh, let's watch it. Oh, I look so stiff and nervous. My form is all over the place. Uh, how did I even win this? At least I can tell I've improved since then. Here's where I get my life straight in. And the winner is Sonata-kun <laughs> from Check the my red face. corner! I'm trying to look calm, but on the inside, I can barely contain myself. I know I said before that I just wanted to learn how to fight with my bare hands. But this might actually be why I stuck with boxing. This victory gave me confidence. I wasn't so stiff in any of my later matches. Are you the type to get nervous in front of a bunch of people like that? Well, that's a surprise. You don't seem like you let the small things bother you. But I guess you're good at not letting your weakness show, huh? I've learned a lot from boxing. But there's a strict rule I follow when it comes to winning. Find your opportunity, then strike without hesitation. It's easy enough to remember, but hard to apply. You could say the same thing about fighting shadows, too. I've always tried to keep those words in mind, but now I'll be even more conscious of them. You know, I never thought you'd see me like that. But it did help remind me how I felt when I was starting out. Anyway, sorry you had to sit through that. I'll save the champion matches for next time. Now we move on to round two of the qualifiers. In the red corner, Akihiko Sonata oh, well, from Gekkokan High School. Want to watch some more before we go to sleep?
say. playing with that elementary school girl. She was very bright. Her face shone with the warm light of new life. And then there's me, cooped up in the hospital, struggling to breathe. I'm just a faint glimmer compared to her dazzling light. Misery is a harsh mistress. I feel as though I'm lying in an unyielding darkness. Do you understand how I feel? I didn't think so. <sighs> Any day now, I'm going to die. I have an incurable hereditary disease. Unless you're in my situation, you can't understand how I feel. But I prefer it that way. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. There are no platitudes to stave off death. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to depress you or anything. It's been quite a while since I spoke to someone my own age. It's only natural for those dwelling in the depths of darkness to yearn for the light. I'm glad we could meet, though. If there is a god, I'll be able to thank him soon enough. This was just a chance encounter, nothing more. Goodbye. Ah, good evening. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Koro-chan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey! Don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes. I heard about Kirijo kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, 
Was I being nosy? Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl. Awaiting me by the shoreline. The city or the shores. Pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata-senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots. <laughs> has grown into a fine adult as well. I believe this is mission complete. Well done. I tried to do everything in my power. I'm glad I was of service. The ladybug put in a lot of work as well. We thank you for your service. I've realized something, tending these plants alongside you. I've made many new discoveries beside these planters. Everyone is doing the best they can to make their way in the world. That goes for the plants, and the pests, and the ladybug too, and you as well. I may be a machine, but I also want to do the best I can. I will do my best to make my way in the world, just like everyone else. That is my new goal from now on. I am impressed. I hadn't expected a competition here. Hearing that, my motivation is fully charged, as they say. Naturally, I will still continue to look after them at full throttle. Let's get started right away. Once again, our mission has concluded without incident today. Let's head back now.
get on with today's lesson. Continuing on. Let's do just that. to say. Well then. We'll get started.
continuing on. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. I'm sorry. Really. If I'd known how long it would take, I would have scheduled an entire day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? Good to hear. And I don't think there will be any issues with your test results either. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done, especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown, and we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past 10 years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes, but... I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh-huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? Iwatodai, Iwatodai, this is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. You're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. We were starting to get worried. Um, did you run into any trouble? Oh, I see. I hope everything's all right. I'll let Kirijo Senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine. Considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. <sighs> Wait! I can sense a shadow! And it's really close to you! It's over at the Moonlight Bridge! It's too dangerous to go alone! 
You should stay put until everyone else gets there. Oh no! There's another reading near the shadow! It's a person! here so much power so much chaos i'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator and on top of that we have an unexpected guest tonight not a very favorable situation all things considered so given this little predicament how do you intend to partake Very well. Let's see what you're capable of. However, if you're not up to the task, I might just take you out with it. What a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? That's your strategy. You're a good target. I'll go with it. You're so good. I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. quite a spectacle, but it's time to end this. Not this. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. Come, persona! How about this? The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying, wasn't it? Persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? I'll see to it that I remember. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you alright? Did you already defeat the Shadow? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay.
Yes. I'm sorry. Suggestion. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So dance. If you wanna go ahead, free to do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm out in my biz. So huh? mind your own biz. Whatever like is. We go flow with the set. Hey, hey, hey. Fill in the fire um. with the burn. seems to be enjoying himself. He's able to go on cherished walks together with his friends. This must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to equip oneself with this yukata? I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? You seem to be holding something. He wants you to have this. Perhaps it was part of his secret stash. Shall we return to the dorm? Let us come again, Koromaru-san. Looks rather busy. I guess, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering to you? Yes. With the amount of data there is to collect here, I cannot help taking time to process. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma. This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? Extremely 
high temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. What are those? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies! Wanna try your hand in a lucky draw? Make some nice memories? What do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? Here, let's trade. In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful, don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go.
Well, uh, running a little sale today. See if anything catches your eye. I got some stuff you might find useful, so feel free to browse. You gotta tell no. When it comes to blades, you've really got to take good care of them. Otherwise, they're just useless metal sticks. Alright right, then. Alright then. What'll it be? Uh -huh. What are you looking for? Well, as long as you need. What are you looking for? You gotta tell no. I never feel like everything good. It's all yours. I never feel like good. It's all yours. Baby, still with me. Oh, great. It's all yours. Uh -huh. What are you looking for? Baby, still with me. You gotta tell no. Everything stocked here is through my personal connections. Whatever you get, and however you use it, just be careful. You finna be seeing you. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Oh my! <laughs> you have my thanks. Very well. Then.
day, let's get real wedding rings. I am Val, the innermost power of the Hanged Man Arcana, hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Hanged Man within thyself. One magnificent melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. 
He always looks so bored when I see him. And man, that kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. see the look on his face. He'll be like, Jupe san, you're super cool and you're super nice. Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. And you know what that means? I'm gonna need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you know, oh boy. I think my arms are gonna fall off. Yes, today shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. What? Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. For real! Without you, it would just be me and him, you know? And isn't that just the saddest thing you've ever heard? Well, when you put it that way, I guess I don't have a choice. I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. We didn't forget about you. All right! What are we waiting for? The youngest gets to draw first blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. Uh, must have never had a chance to talk about it. But that I used to play baseball. I mean, anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Nah, uh, well, nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. <laughs> What's wrong, bud? You dying to chomp on some melon? Hey, come on, Koromaru. We can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. Koromaru? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? See? Senpai thinks so, too. Then... What else are we gonna use? Um, anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. Interesting? Kind of a weird request. Oh! Like if Sonata-san uses bare hands? Someone say my name? Whoa, Sonata-san! <laughs> well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof. So I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon splitting, huh? That's right! We were just talking about what to use to hit it! You're not gonna use that bet? My fists! On this? Oh my god, yes! I'd actually love to see that! That's okay, right, Jupe-san? Huh? Uh, sure. If that's what you want. All right. Guess I better make this good then. DA, try not to go all out or there won't be any left to eat. Whoa! Sonata-san, you're incredible! What? What? What the heck? How are we supposed to eat it now? I can't believe that thing was still edible after it exploded like that. It didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but 
Looked like a mod ad. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole back thing. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, the kid ends up pitying me. <laughs> Don't worry about me anymore. I'll just get even sadder, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault, dude. Uh, how the hell do I put it? This is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life, my teenage years, it's just all over the place. Anyway, I think we're done for today, yeah? Appreciate you helping me prep and clean up. Well, let's head back downstairs. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Please take a look. This person, so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look. anything different about me? Ooh, so you can tell? I had my hair revitalized. It doesn't look healthier now. It's quite a hassle, but appearances are a big part of the job in my line of work. That said, I am the total opposite at home. I dress like a slob and only shower every three days. Let me come up with an analogy. Hmm. Vegetables. Perfect. Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks all deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would rather stock?
That's the simple truth. Awkwardly shaped cucumbers don't pack together very well, so stores prefer straight ones. Taste and safety aren't even a consideration. They'll carry cucumbers that even pests wouldn't eat. So, why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? Simple, people trust what they see. The world is governed more by appearances than realities. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. Wait, you know what I just said earlier? The part about me dressing like a slob and not showering every day. Don't you dare tell anyone. I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. I only admitted it to you personally. No one else has a clue, okay? Just a reminder, do not tell a soul. If you break your promise, well, I guess I can trust you. Uh, run along now. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. be delightful in an ideal the personas you would please take a look is this acceptable may it be your inner strength are you finished we look
Hey, eat up. Slowing down. Is that all you've got? Oh, setting your strength for the last stretch, huh? <laughs> then let's do this! Go, 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 go! Whew. Oh, looks like it's a tie. <laughs> Not many people can keep up with me. I'm impressed. That's so. Guess it was close then. Oh. Had a lot of gods challenging me at Takoyaki, though. I respect that. I knew you had potential when I met you. Ties no better than a loss. I'll do like I promised and run a hundred laps around the city. You do whatever you think is best. Heck of a fight today. See you around. before how it caught my attention but I was afraid it might be too scary for me but I'm glad I watched it guess it's important to break out of your comfort zone sometimes do you ever try watching things from genres you don't normally get into <laughs> I'm the same way isn't it easier to try something new when you have someone with you for the ride it's also nice to be able to comment on it and see the other person's reaction Watching this together made me realize how much I appreciated the main character. Like how she can't turn a blind eye to people in need and extends her hand to almost anyone. And of course, the way she kept pressing forward no matter what happened. It was so inspiring. Come to think of it, isn't she just like you? <laughs> that might be a stretch. Remember how I told you about that girl I was close to who started ignoring me one day? It's not like I did anything to make her hate me. We've been friends for a long time, but one day out of the blue, she just said, my mother told me I can't play with you anymore. It's because there were rumors floating around about my parents. I kind of get it now, looking back, but at the time, I was just sad. But what I'm trying to say is, this show made me realize I'd like to be a little more like the main character. I want to be the kind of person who'd help anyone at any time. Someone who's kind and strong. It might be silly to say I look up to a fictional character, but there's no harm in following her example. At least, that's what I think. starting that ending was so good I hope they'll make a sequel I'll bring more DVDs I'm curious about next time oh, it's about time we head back to our rooms have a good night okay
Yeesh, it's a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring? Hmm? What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs>